Oh yeah. Today is the 8th of August and this is episode 8 as well. So, first of all, um, uh, I did some stuff between episode 7 and this episode uh, and also some news uh, coming from uh, Mojang or Mojang or whatever you pronounce it. Uh, so apparently Minecon will be uh, will occur in Paris in France so in honor to that I uh, I've installed uh, a French flag here which doesn't bother me too much because I am French so yeah so let's be a bit shop and stick or something and yeah um, anyway uh, back to the stuff I did uh, yes so I've um, I've bought some uh, diamond pickaxe uh, I guess you guys have seen the I guess I've put uh, some video clip uh, before the beginning of that episode uh, showing me buying a bunch of diamond pickaxes and uh, yeah so we are going to enchant them so uh, here they are so we will enchant two of them uh, and if, if we are lucky we'll get fortune 3 or silk touch and uh, yeah also uh, as you can see I've grabbed a bit more uh, I've grabbed more testificates um, so and replaced a few ones so for instance oh yes uh, I got those uh, enchanted pickaxes from that guy and uh, what else? Bottle of enchanting, didn't buy any, and that's where I got the diamond pickaxes. No, wait, that's that's another uh, another guy, that one. Yeah. Um, so we will enchant those pickaxes uh, right now, um, and uh, we will then do our uh, do this episode's project. Um, so yeah. Uh, also, um, I've uh, the way I got all those emeralds was uh, was uh, thanks to paper. That is, which is a, a very easy and cheap way to get uh, emeralds. Yeah. So uh, so yeah. I guess I'll have to make some kind of uh, paper. Uh, a paper maker or something. Um, I guess I'll, I'll I'll do some kind of building uh, away from this place because I'll probably need uh, to have. To, well, uh, we will see. This is for another episode. But for right now, we will enchant those two pickaxes. And first, we'll check what we have here. Ah. Second one, mm. Pop. Fortune three. Aha! That's exactly what I was. That's exactly what I wanted. So this way, I'll be able to grab uh, all the all the diamonds I found uh, down here in my uh, strip mine. Uh, so I'll grab these and we will see again in a sec. Now we meet again, but I won't bother you. So where is our diamond? Our first, uh, yes, that's it. So we'll grab that one. Um, how many? Three. Yes. It's okay. Um, there must be. There must be more over here, I guess. Uh, bup, bup, bup. Nope, redstone. Oh wait, there must be. In fact, I don't exactly remember that. It's been a, a while since I've come here uh, for the last time, so I'll try to find this diamond, and I'll see you in a sec. Yeah. Okay, I didn't find anything else in the. Uh, 
other branch of my uh, branch mine so uh, but I did uh, do some more uh, branch mining uh, somewhere else or, or something or whatever it's not that important anyways uh, I don't even know why I'm showing you guys uh, mining all that uh, diamond but oh well whatever yeah and more uh yeah. Okay, so this is what I've prepared for the project. Um, I've put uh, all those items in the in the ender chest uh, just so I can have a better inventory management. And uh, yeah, so this is mostly for the Nether Hub thing, but uh. For the moment, uh, the Nether Hub will not uh, be finished. Of course, uh, my plan is only to connect two destinations um, in order to have uh, a quicker access. So the first destination will be the spawn point, and the other will be the the planes we found previous episode. Um, so I'll see you guys back at the Nether. Um, before we do the nether thing, uh, nether hub thing, uh, there's been a few changes uh, in this place. So I still didn't fix the the blaze spawner, uh, but I did do some stuff uh, for this place. So um, yeah, that's not very practical, but whatever. Uh, so that's what it looks like. In here what the the hub looks like now no not the hub the the blaze uh, the blaze farm yes um, so over here we have the storage room so uh, just some basic stuff as you can see uh, and some stuff too well it's not too important uh, that spot is for an ender chest but I'll keep that one for uh, another something else and this is supposed to be uh, the enchantment room so well if you want to reduce the uh, the levels uh, you'll have to put torches uh, it's all manual and yeah and uh, this is the access to the back room so I've rigged the piston uh, piston door here and uh, yeah, so uh, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit tricky, I should say, but uh, it's manageable, I guess. Um, so yeah, I won't detail today. Um, and, uh, yeah. So also, this is supposed to lead to a, a brewing room, but uh, I've planned to do something. Here, uh, in fact, that would be a, a cauldron uh, cycling machine. Uh, so uh, it would be rigged to a, a butt switch, which uh, once you interact with the cauldron by putting water in or taking water out with a, a water bottle, uh, a glass bottle, I mean, uh, it will push the the cauldron and put another one here. So. But uh, that's just a random idea I had. Uh, I already have a prototype in my uh, creative world, but uh, as I said, this will be for uh, another time. Um, so yeah, so I'll get back to the. I'll I'll show you the Nether Hub now. Okay, so this is where our Nether portal is. And uh, uh, to get to the hub, we need to go up. So um, the nether hub, or at least the the basis for this, uh, are near uh, the top bedrock uh, level uh, for two reasons. Uh, the first one being ghasts, and the other one being the fact it makes it easier to uh, reach uh, to build tunnels uh, since there's uh, something like uh, five no wait ten uh, 
uh, 10 layers of nether netherrack uh, on the top uh, so it makes it easier to dig a, a tunnel oh and also uh, apparently there was another uh, blaze spawner over here so yeah but uh, now uh, this is where the thing is so I've already uh, dug a, a tunnel which is supposedly uh, which su which is supposed to lead to um, to the spawn point so I guess all I need to do now is uh, decorate this thing but I'm not exactly sure how I will do this but yeah um, what else uh, well, um, it's not a too long tunnel since uh, the spawn point is something like uh, 600 blocks away from uh, our base, so so it shouldn't be too um, too far away. So um, yeah, and I'm loud again, indeed. <clears throat> well. Um, so uh, first of all, uh, to make the portal, um, you can't just uh, place those blocks and hope. Uh, wow, that make is strong. Uh, and hope for uh, the portal to exit where you want it to exit. No, uh, it's not that simple. Um, the main problem is that uh, it tend to uh, place the the exit uh, where you don't expect it to be so sometimes uh, it will uh, for instance uh, create the portal um, uh, in a cave for instance but we want it to be uh, in at the surface but first of all we will see if uh, we are indeed at our spawn point so we can oh um yeah it looks familiar uh, let me check the coordinates uh, 3243 uh, I'll be back in a sec okay so I've checked and uh, our original spawn point according to episode 1 is something like uh, X33 uh, and the Z254 so we are not too far from it so I guess I'll leave it as it is for the moment and uh, yeah spawn point is over here I think uh, yeah over there so I'll put some torches just to tell myself in case I would die without setting my spawn point with a bed uh, but yeah so um, so now I guess I could decorate uh, this place, but I didn't bring all the resources I need, uh, in fact, so this will have to wait a bit. But uh, for now, I guess we will do the... We'll have to return to the surface at our original... Um, at, our, our, at our base, I mean, uh, to grab... No, wait, to find the the planes we found previous episode and install a portal over here then we will have to dig a tunnel to to the set coordinates so yeah well actually I'll think I'll do it the other way around um, I've checked a uh, previous episode and I've indeed had uh, F3 on so I used the coordinates uh, I've got it. I, I've got yes from this, and uh, uh, I've transformed those overworld coordinates into uh, nether coordinates. So this is where we will dig. So we'll have to dig. Um, not exactly sure. Um, it must be over here. In fact, um, no wait. That will be over here. This way. So. I'll try to reach that uh, area, 54 minus 101, and I'll see you in a moment. 
Okay, so I think we've got the coordinates now. Uh, it didn't take too long to dig out all this stuff, uh, since this pick is just amazing. Okay, it's not that amazing, but it gets the job done on Netherrack, uh, since it's just that... Uh, well, efficiency 3 is just that... Uh, is enough on Netherrack to just go straight like that and, and dig and... And break the world around you, uh, even blocks you don't want to break, but yeah. So the hub is this way, uh, it's not far, yes, there we are, back. And uh, yeah, so I'll be, I'll build the portal, and I'll see you later. I will build the portal, and I will see you guys in a sec, after I've stopped lagging like that. Okay, so the portal is ready, and uh, we have a visit. Uh, okay, and uh, I've also dug a bit more the the tunnel. Um, wow, it's laggy today. I don't know why. Uh, oh, it should be better now. Yes, okay. No, it's not. Uh, wait a sec. Yep. Should be better now, so uh, we will check where we end up after going through this portal, and yeah, and we shouldn't be too far from the place, uh, from the plains, I mean, yeah, that's, yeah, that's uh, where I took the coordinates, uh, so we are the plains, near the jungle, uh, and uh, and yeah, so I remember that patch of water. I was standing near it uh, in the video where I got the coordinates. But uh, for right now, I guess I'll just return to the Nether and uh, do some kind of railroads, railroads, uh, even temporary ones. Uh, just. Uh, well, I don't think I'll have enough rails, but I'll I'll try anyways. So I'll see you guys in a moment again, as usual. Today is the 9th of August, and as you can see, I'm done with the railroads. Um, the railroads to the the railroads to the the railroads to the spawn point. Um, so uh, as you can see, I've added the nether the the stone breaks uh, under the rails, uh, just in case a ghast would uh, shoot from under uh, for some reason. Uh, because right here uh, there's something like one or two layers of nether rack, so uh, we need to be a bit more... Uh, we need to feel a bit more secure about this railroad, so yep. And also... Uh, there's something uh, at the, the arrival station. As you can hear, this is the intro song uh, of my videos. So, yeah. Um, so, the idea here is to have uh, a tune asso associated to the to the station, uh, so to the location. So for instance, since this is supposed to be to lead to the spawn point, uh, I thought that uh, using the intro uh, song of my series uh, was fitting. Uh, so yeah. Um, also, I guess I'll do the same with uh, other other uh, minecart stations, uh, and other portals, I mean. Uh, well, minecart stations leading to another portal or whatever. Um, and uh, the tunes will be taken from the full version of uh, of the song, of the intro song. So, because it does exist, uh, but it's easier for me to take uh, various parts of that song uh, and use them uh, in different parts of the... So, for instance, uh, we will have another tune for the, the planes. Um, and uh, I guess I will also have, we will also have uh, a tune for the the main hub, 
which by the way is not centered around 0 0 uh, because the 0 x 0 and z 0 uh, because this is here and the, the hub is over here so the hub is uh, supposed to be where our base uh, is supposed to be and uh, yeah uh, also uh, the the tune is not is not activated if you uh, are leaving see no tune and uh, yeah so um, it's just some basic stuff uh, I won't explain too much the redstone because I just uh, as you guys may have noticed I'm terrible at uh, explaining complicated stuff so I'll just leave you the let you let you guys see what's uh, I'll let you guys see and uh, yeah see the wiring that's just some basic stuff so this ent the, this one is from the button and this one is from the detector detector rail so yeah um, anyways I think that's it for today Thanks for watching, uh, be sure to leave a like uh, and favorite and subscribe if you think uh, it's worth it and uh, also don't forget that uh, my very first subscriber, as I still don't have any right now <laughs> it's just <terrible. clears throat> uh, my very first subscriber will have his very own dedicated monument which will consist of uh, an obsidian block and a sign high up in the sky in the overworld yeah sounds very uh, promising yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> whatever so uh, yeah so see you guys next time